We are gonna get shit on so oh, bad for this. Yeah, dude. We're gonna. I know, <laughs> I'm just like I don't even want to check the comments on. This I don't one. either. I don't either. It'll be great <laughs> if you're watching this right now, and you haven't hit the like button. Billy, get on it. Bug your brother. Tell him to do the same. Comes in from Patreon as well. Uh, Donovan says Schneider might not need to be fired, but he does need to be demoted. I don't even know what this means, Scott. Like sent down to AAA, like <laughs> given a different parking spot. I don't know what, what it is here. He has options. He <laughs> has options. <laughs> <laughs> He's less than five years of MLB experience. Sure. Um, anyways, the questionable bullpen decisions keep piling up. How the bleep could Schneider bring Barrios back in for the sixth? Uh, and then goes on to list just a bunch of other things that we all know off the top of our head, right? So I don't need to list them all. Let's let's start with the Brios thing coming back in the sixth inning. Uh, obviously, it, at that point, five innings, two earned runs. It was a 3-2 game for the Blue Jays. I didn't have a problem with it. Obviously, it didn't go well in the sixth. Gave up, I think, three runs in the sixth inning there before getting removed. Mm. I, I I mean, hated it. I hated it. I hated it. When he got out of the fifth inning, I even turned to Taylor. I turned to my wife and I was like, holy crap. Barrios really bent, but didn't break there. This is perfect with all these lefties coming up in the lineup. Let's get Mesa in there. Call it a day. Let his confidence build. You know what? He didn't have his stuff. He still managed to go five innings. He was in line for the win. He only gave up two runs. And he made us all sweat the entire game. Yeah, he was only at 80 pitches. But I don't understand with after the way that uh, Schneider operated the bullpen against Seattle there, going two innings with Trevor Richards, having his high leverage guys rested. Why would you not use Mesa in a situation where there's lefties coming up. Why have a lefty if you're never going to go to him? I I don't know. I th- That was one where I was like, that was the one spot this season that bothered me more than anything Schneider has done. And there are definitely moments throughout this first month of 2023 where you definitely could give a thumbs down to some of Schneider's decisions. Listen. There is always going to be one third to half of the fan base calling for the manager's head, no matter what. We saw it with Montoyo. We saw it with Gibbons. This is not new. It's very, very easy to blame the manager when things don't go right. And sometimes it is on the manager, but most of the time it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, I I guess. I mean, everything you're saying, I, I agree with, I guess. I mean... I just, he was at 80 pitches going into the sixth inning. He just had two really good, like, double play ending fourth and fifth innings. Like, he was. He had runners on base every single inning. Eh, He didn't have one clean inning. That happens. I mean, he has been pitching a lot better this season. He's, for me, Barrios is the guy who's like, inning number one, you just know he's either got it or he doesn't. And it felt like, Maybe he, maybe it was a toss up still, but or maybe he was getting lucky in yesterday's game to to go as far as he did. And maybe we should have just been like, hey, let's just be happy that we got five out of them and call it a day. 80, 80, I don't know. Maybe after the first home run he gave up in the sixth inning, I'd be like, all right, let's get Mays in. But I didn't have a problem initially, like in real time. Going starting the sixth inning and seeing Brios getting trotted out there, I didn't honestly have an, a problem with it. Obviously, in hindsight, I do, but I mean, when he's at 82 pitches going into the sixth inning, it's only two earned runs so far. I'm like, yeah, all right, sure. For me, it Hope was this just goes less, well. For me, it was just less about pitch count and more about the eye test and what I'd seen the entire game out of Brios, which was not very sharp dodging bullets the whole game, allowing base runners and then getting out of it, defense bailing him out. I mean, take the five and 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 take the win on that one. I don't know. Again, hindsight is 2020, but that was the thing about hindsight. 
I was screaming it at the TV before the home run was given up. Even when he went up to face um, Duran there, I'm like, w- w- why? Why? <laughs> but uh, anyways. Yeah, it is what it is, I suppose, right? And as for firing John Schneider or demoting him, it's not going to happen. The team is 18 and 11. John Schneider is still a rookie manager. I know that people constantly point to the fact, well, he's managed for six years. Well, guess what? Managing in the big leagues is a little different. And if you think that these decisions are being made uh, by John Schneider himself, isolated, he's just a rogue in there doing things his way. You are not paying attention to the way this Blue Jays organization operates. They are all about collaboration for everyone being like, bring Donnie baseball in as the manager. If you don't think that he's not getting a say in what is happening with that bullpen, you are sadly mistaken. Of course, Don Mattingly is there with John Schneider right next to him with Pete Walker going over the matchups, going over the numbers and making a collaborative decision. This is not just John Schneider. And I don't know if things would be all that different if Donnie baseball was the guy at the helm. How many world series did he win with the Miami Marlins? Shots fired at Donnie baseball. Um, I like the idea of just giving him like a shittier parking spot. It's like, Hey, the job's still yours, but like, we want you to know we're not totally thrilled. You're going to have to walk a little bit further across the parking lot today. <laughs> just he just shows know. up he just shows up in the parking spot just says Bo Bichette's third spot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly exactly 